No, Princess Leanne. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this man is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Oh. Yes, Princess Leanne. I recognize that face anywhere. Unless you wish to be transferred to the wall, you will leave and continue your search. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. Yeah, you did. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. Okay. Now, if you are mean to her each time, it won't affect your status, but it will allow you to get something. And I'll show you that after I get it. So, Silk Fox, I could have used your help getting here. You claim great familiarity by calling me by my childhood nickname. All who know me here address me as Princess Leanne the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. I don't bow, and I don't know you as a princess. I think you are a little too bold for your own good, but I suppose it is my fault. I go out of my way to avoid fawning servants. That is why I often travel without official escort, and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. Bah, you just like getting your hands dirty with commoners. The whims of a member of the Imperial Court are not your concern. There are more important things that we need to discuss in private. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. A rendezvous with the princess. Such a scandal. <gasps> that is quite enough. We will continue this at a later time. We both have questions that we will need answered. I'm certain that my entourage would prefer that this take place in private. Your gruff nature is a bit too much for them. Aww. Don't blame me for their pa for the pampering you demand. <laughs> you are incorrigible. Get up, you lot. I'll be embarrassed for myself, thank you. Save your false modesty for my father's court. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sun Lian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. Sweet. I've never seen anyone dare to say so much against the royal family and live to walk away. The distress you caused her handlers was a wonder to behold. Ah, you're welcome. Here, friend, take this with my compliments. I've never seen such a thing. This is what I wanted. A lotus... Or lutish approval. Chapter 3. So chapter 2 is done. This is where in the Imperial City is revealed. The Silk Fox reveals her station. And the Lotus Assassins are infiltrated. The Marvelous Dragonfly bears you away from Tian's Landing toward the Imperial City. The fall of Gala Greater and Assassin Lim will far-reaching consequences. Your enemy will not let your actions go unanswered. Terrible forces gather ahead, and as you draw close, they will leave their mark as surely as you have left yours. Wow, good deal. All right, cool. So we got to the Imperial Pity, si the Imperial City. I'm gonna save here, and then we're gonna pick this up when I come back. So this has been Pitching Ace 88. I see you guys all next time. Over and out. Okay. Let's see. In three, two, one. Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Jade Empire. This game brought to you by GameAnyone.com. 
and it's probably going to be in the middle of a video, so let's just get started talking to some of my uh, followers. I can't believe my luck. I arrived home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives. Huh, sorry to hear that. No, you misunderstand me. My wife, she's not here. I thought I was as good as dead. Now my execution is delayed. Until her eventual return, of course. Alright, well, what are your thoughts on our situation? We made it this far. How hard can it be from here? From what I've seen, you're more than capable of handling anything we're likely to encounter. Okay, why didn't you marry your wife if she's so difficult? Like many things in my life, it can be traced back to very bad luck on my part. As I mentioned once before, I was a master of the drunken master style. I was the tournament champion in Phoenix Gate when things spun out of control. My need for wine took its toll on my body. There are long periods I don't even remember. After one such period, I came to, having lost most of my clothes and all my money. I was destitute, and without the ability to buy more wine, I couldn't even fight. Wine is a dangerous companion. Eventually, I found work cleaning out creature cages at the local arena. One day, I was approached by a man who remembered seeing me fight. He offered to sponsor me. Just like that, I was back in the ring. After climbing my way back to the top of the tournament, my sponsor told me it was time to fulfill my end of the bargain. I guess, well, you really did owe him after that. Apparently, the agreement stipulated that I must marry his niece. If only I had read the agreement more closely, I could still be shoveling dirt in the creature cages. <laughs> Alas, fate had a crueler path in mind for me. Let that be a lesson for you. Always read the fine print, or you may end up with more than you bargained for. Um, well, what are your thoughts on our current... No, let's see, uh... Why'd you come on a bun master? You're beginning to sound like my wife. Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the question. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's nubile niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. My disapproving dove did not care for my drinking, or for my friends, or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, be more respectable. And so you became a bun master? At first I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was not a woman to be crossed. Huh. Prior to one fight, my duplicitous daisy drugged my wine. I don't remember much of what happened next, which is fortunate. From what I hear, it wasn't very pretty. Oh, jeez. I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy to settle down. As to why I became a bond master, well, it's a hard, thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. <laughs> Alright. He's probably not, not going to say now. anything. Not now, yeah. That's all for As now. As you say... I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. All right. What about you, Sky? Always happy to help. What do you need? What's on your mind right now? I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here some time ago in my hunt for Gal. In fact, this is where the hunt began. I've come full circle, and I think it's time to let go of the past and look forward. We have exciting things ahead of us. Yes, we do. Let's see. There's no shame in dwelling on the past. There's no point in living in the past either. Bazinga. In my heart, I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit now. Whatever happens, I have that. And if we succeed, I know she finds peace. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now, and while I treasure the past, I look forward to the future with the same warmth. So, but you do realize that you may not have a future if you follow me. Bah, we'll find a way through any troubles. We're too resourceful to roll over and die. 
I'm excited to be back in the city. It feels like we're one step closer to our goal, but you know that better than anyone. You brought us to this point after all. Who else could have gathered this crew or found such a quick way out of Tien's landing? I don't know. But don't discount yourself for the others. How do you manage that kind of humility? Some sort of special training? 